Would you please welcome Dave Allen. A little nearer, Dave. A little, just, just a mite nearer. I, listen, I know you're always studying us, all of us, us ordinary folk with that mind. You're always, is that where you get all the humour from? Just looking at general yeah, situations? I think, I, think it's, uh, I think it generally starts with the absurdity of life. Because life is very, uh, really absurd. I mean, we, we get ourselves into absurd situations and we become pompous because we can't get out of it. Um, I mean, simple things. I mean, I came across a burglar in the house. And I heard myself saying, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> I mean, well, what do you think you're doing? I mean, I, I went into all those cliches. I thought, well, I should pick up a big stick and beat this bastard's brains in. But I, <laughs> Can I help you, I'm saying? So that's getting up your nose these days. You've got to be in your bonnet about something. Yeah. Uh, traffic calming. Have you come traffic across... Traffic calming? Have you come across that no. traffic calming? Calming? Wait, yeah. Well, they have three lanes, and they narrow them all into one, so that you're calm about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the device. Slow down the traffic, and all, we all become calm. It's like those bumps you have, those... Sleeping policemen. Sleeping policemen. Have you ever driven over those? You feel such a fart going over them. <laughs> you feel like a... <laughs> and you watch the fellow in front of it. <laughs> and there's a roll that's all going... <laughs> you really get like... angry about this, is I mean, it's not an act. It actually gets at you, doesn't it? Somebody blows a horn in a car. You're sitting in a car, and you hear... Beep! And we all think they're blowing it at us. Well, you're surrounded by cars <laughs> with people you. all going. <laughs> like headless chickens, I mean, all going. <laughs> so I, I, to, to get some frustration out of myself, I go to blow the horn. Now I change cars, and the horn used to be in the middle of the wheel. So I'm hitting and nothing's happening, so I'm pulling switches and things. And my windscreen wiper goes. <laughs> It's not the same. No. It doesn't give you the same satisfaction. <laughs> you don't get the same satisfaction out of putting a windscreen on. Can you imagine some big bastard getting out of a car and coming over and saying, You put your windscreen right <laughs> over at me. <laughs> it brings, it brings... Yeah, you, you haven't changed much physically over the years, you haven't You've still got this little boyish twinkle. All right, so you've dyed your hair grey. You, but you're still this... <laughs> No, I went grey waiting for you to invite me on the show. <laughs> You've got a new video out, Vintage Dave Allen. Let's have a look at one of the clips right now. And uh, how name you this child? Victoria Mary Ann. Victoria Mary Ann. I baptise this child, Victoria Mary Ann. And may God bless her and all who sail her. Now you've always had this you've always had this reputation for, you know, a gentle fun at the church. I mean, do you get complaints? I mean, serious people get annoyed with you? Take um no, not really. Um you so, don't offend a few people, yeah, maybe. Like yes, that. you will. That's that's what comedy is about. So some of the biblical stories like like Noah and that I mean, you—that's just a myth, is it, to you? Is it? Do you think that actually yeah, happened? Well, I mean, it does. I mean, the, the the thing I like about it all is that Noah's six hundred years of age. He's in the wilderness. He lives in the wilderness with all these other people who are sand farmers. They all plant sand and watch it grow. <laughs> and one day God comes along and goes, Noah, yes, build me an ark. Yeah. He lives in the desert. There's not a bloody tree around. <laughs> He's 600 years of age. God doesn't make it easy. So he builds this ark, and then he says, go to every corner of the world and bring back two of every species of every creature. The creeps, crawls, flies, and one of that. And he goes. 
This 600 year old man wanders off into Africa and brings back elephants and rhinoceroses and gorillas and orangutans and crocodiles and he dumps them in the wilderness. And off he goes again and all his friends are sitting there going, Noah, what are you doing? Why are you where? And off he goes. Goes to Australia, kangaroos, wallabies, wombats, duck-billed platypuses. <laughs> duck-billed platypuses looked like that because of Noah. Because he went, gotcha. <laughs> goes to China, picks up two panda bears straight up to the Arctic Circle and picks up two polar bears. Polar bears, pound for pound, the most vicious animals in the world. And they come willingly. Because <laughs> they look at the pandas with the black eyes and they think, well, if that old fella can do that to them. <laughs> Congratulations on the award. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Allen. Thank you. 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 Thank you.